Hey guys, welcome to apple.edu, where we think for students. And today I'm going to talk about the iPad Air 5. So this came out like uh, a week ago and I got it as well. So yeah, that's my second purchase of my iPad. So today we'll talk about is it a steel or a seal? So let's just get into it. So let's start with the design. So Apple has not changed the dimensions on the iPad Air 5 at all. The same 10.9 inch di display with, a, with Touch ID and the same USB port. But what they have changed on the design is the color. So these colors are now more vibrant than the previous generation iPads, which I've seen a lot of videos, but I don't own one. People talking about how dull it is and it doesn't show that much. So I would just rather cover them with like covers or uh, I don't know two hours later so yeah that's a good thing about it but the USB port has more than you think so that moves that brings me to another point the USB port now the USB port is twice as fast so now you can transfer data even faster but it's still not Thunderbolt which is kind of sad but still twice as fast is pretty good Another thing is you can actually connect a 6K display to this iPad Air and have everything running smooth. So if you want to present something students, you can. And if you, if you are a professor or a teacher, you can also present something at up to a 6K display. So that is crazy to have. But what if you want to do online meetings? What if you want to present something online and you want to show your students or yourself your face? So that's where the face front camera comes in place. Apple has actually upgraded the front camera to a 12 megapixel ultra wide, which has the center stage technology. Yes, the center stage technology. If you have, if you do, if you're wondering what is center stage, it's basically a feature that tracks your face to put you in the center of the frame, or at least in your in the frame. So now you can have multiple people in your frame without moving the camera. The camera, the front camera does it all for you. So that's a great feature to have. But what do you want to run these online meetings and your uh, USB transfer faster or display, uh, like connect the 6K display? You need a better processor. Yes, the M1 chip is finally entered the iPad Air series. Apple has finally introduced it. Now the M1 chip is the same chip that's used in the, M um, the MacBooks and the iPad Pro. So having it is a great offer thing actually. But the 8GB of RAM actually makes it even better along with the 5G. Yes, 5G is back. Or actually it's not back, it, it's actually introduced into this iPad Air, which is lovely. Well, that's the processor for you. Great, great RAM, great fire, uh, internet, and M1 chip. What else do you want? Well, you want accessories, right? Yes, the Apple Pencil 2 and the Magic Keyboard both work with this iPad, which is just crazy and lovely because now you can just type as a MacBook or maybe you want to draw something. You can note take, do everything. And basically, the iPad Air is used mostly by students to take notes. So yeah, just make sure the Apple Pencil 2 you're, uh, the Apple Pencil you're using is a second generation and not the first generation because the first generation charges itself using the lightning port and not magnetically. So since this thing has a USB port, you can't use it. So Apple has made another pencil, which technically is a like is like a trap by Apple that you have to use second generation only. So it's like uh, more costly, but there are cheaper alternatives which I'll not talk about it in this video. So that's the accessories. But is everything good about this iPad? Definitely not. Firstly, the storage. The storage is just abysmal. It's only 64 gigabytes as the base model. Yes, you can upgrade for 256 gigabytes, but it's spending 150 dollars just to get some more storage. It, I would have expected at least 128 gigabytes from Apple. Come on, Apple. I know you can do better. Now, the 64 gigabytes, I mean, who even uses it in 2022? But 
I would say wait on the upgrade because that brings me to the next point as well. The upgrades, getting 5G and 256 gigabytes is kind of pointless if you can just get the iPad Pro which has a better display, 128 gigabytes as a starting base model and a better camera with the LiDAR and flash. Yes, this thing doesn't have flash as well. So you can get so much stuff just by spending 50 more bucks. Why not get that? That's so much better than this and you can actually maybe upgrade even more if you want at the display part. Even though the display is like 0.1 inch better as the base model, you can go higher. So iPad Pro is so much better than the iPad Air when it comes to the upgrading part. So as a base model, it's perfect for note takers. But in conclusion, I would say if you are a note taker and a student, or any, or actually you, you can be a, you can be in a job and still want to note take and just still have some entertainment on your hand, this is the best iPad for you, I would say. I, sh I would say it's only good for students and especially in college because in college you have to note take fast and you have to write a lot. I mean, I'm not discouraging you guys who are in high school and looking at this video and like, oh, in college I'm gonna have so much to write, huh? No, it's nothing like that. It depends on how much you take notes. But as a note taker, this device is very good. But just keep in mind, you only buy the base model because the other uh, others are kind of pointless to have. You can just get the iPad Pro if you want a better experience. So yeah, that wraps up the video. So if you have any comments or thoughts about this video or this iPad Air 5 actually, leave them down below, I'll read them and maybe I'll find another idea that I can make another video out of it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye.